Hello, hello, Danger Noodles. I am here. We are now gonna take on as many gym leaders as we can before stream ends. Let's do this. I have no idea if anybody's here. Let's see. First stop, Viridian City. Where the fuck is he? What? What? That's right, Blue took over the gym and he's in the Pokemon League. Never mind. I forgot this is the last area. <laughs> I thought it was the first. I'm an idiot. That's right, Peter City is the first. That's the museum. There's the gym. I... <laughs> Is he invisible? I... 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 A bookworm, I may have... Or... Or whoever's in chat, I may have killed him. The gym need us. Hold on, I want to look up how to get the gym need us. Oh, that's great. I actually had to find the people first. Oh, I already found Misty. Let's just go to the city arena and see how many I lot. Vermillion, Vermillion. I don't know where Vermillion is.
There you go. Hey, time to find this the, the, the city arena, apparently. Two people. There, here you are. Don't make it me wait. I've heard a lot of good things about you since our last battle. Let me test how good you are. Our music stopped and the game froze. Well, that's just great. Okay, there we go. I hear music. Yeah, there we go. What the fuck? Well, that was easy. Or again. Hmm. What the fuck? Okay, so that's the type I thought it would be. Shit. There we go. Okay. Now it's what I thought a week to. Ow. You bitch. Will you quit healing your Pokemon? <laughs> Garchomp, what did they do to you? I don't know, Bookworm, I don't know. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> I gotta do... They were still on the ground for dig. What the hell happened? What the hell happened? They were still on the ground for dig. But I want to go do my turn. They just come out without hurting me? <laughs> oh, gee, you nicked up in the moon. Yeah, I did. Wait, is he flying? I mean, is she flying? Is Gnosis... Is Gnosis flying? I guess we'll find out. 
I'm re-challenging gym leaders, by the way. Double hit really does not hurt you. It's quick, bitch. It's that motherfucker. <laughs> I swear to fuck, if this is a Mars Shadow and an Arceus fusion, I am fucked. Because that's the only thing I can think of in reading that name. Oh yeah, Mars Stomp. I forgot that Mars Stomp existed. Well, I'm, I'm probably still fucked. Yep, I'm back. Wait, what? Your your invasive stat is low. Like, really low. How did you avoid? You know what? I'm not gonna question it. <laughs> Don't get the power of three hit combo. Even the Pokemon dad can't handle it. You truly deserve the title of League Champion. Yes, I do. We're getting stronger by the battle. And I just whooped your way, yes. I don't get anything for doing that. How did Blaine is a man of extremes? He likes to explore around now down during the day. I got one more to chat. Who the fuck are you? Anyways. One more gym leader left to challenge, and then I gotta hunt for them. Here we go. I know you come. I had a feeling. What? We promised each other, so it's no surprise. Well, you may be right. So shall we have a battle now? Silalax? What the fuck? Really do not do much damage. You bitch. Wow. Yeah, they didn't do much at all.
bitch. <laughs> it's a Nido and a Deoxys. This can either be cursed or cool looking. Nido and a Deoxys. Hmm. So Crabs and Luck cannot go in. Nor can Mono, because the steel typing. No, I think I'll, I'll stick with no sis. And it's cursed. Interesting to know that Nose has just wicked the poison. <laughs> it's good to note. I forgot Frey loses the poison. Yeah, I did. But it's okay. Big Boy Titan knows po uh, his dark moves too. It's a lasso and a Charizard. We're either going to get horny or gross death. Oh, not Slazzle? Oh, Slazzle. Oh, Slacking. Why the fuck did I think Slazzle? I mean, Slazzle is in the game now. Because they added stuff from Relella. But still, why did I think it's a lasso? <laughs> Ow. Because he switched the S. Yeah. Most likely. Bitch. You get the crab hammer. Oh no. They have a Reggie Gigas fusion. Oh, it has slow starts, so we're okay. They were smart like me and got your slow start. Quasar? Oh no. <laughs> Alright, big boy Titan. I believe in you. Gee. <laughs> Me, when I don't take slow start for my Reggie fusion. <laughs> oh gee, last child in the woods got heated to space somehow. <laughs> yeah. Bitch. I could just one shot at it. I just want to show the power of the three hit combo. <laughs> a banshee? Okay, so a Persian and. What the fuck ban is? That's great. I now have a twisted spoon and it has focus band. That's great. Jeez. 
し Even if you used dig, you would have been killed by SP. Don't doubt my power. I knew you win, but the fight was still worth it. I know, you will fight me again sometime. Why do they show me their asses when I beat them? Anyways. <laughs> Wait. Okay, so hold on. Erica is a lover of nature. She loves going to the parks to relax during the day. Okay. That is not my time. Okay, is there anyone for night? Zero. Great. Great information. <laughs> Just zero. I love this information. There is a member of the famous Canal of Dragon Masters. She goes to a special place to pray at night. Probably the dragon's den. Alright. But where the fuck's the dragon's den? Should be the top right of Jonto. Okay, so I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure that. The top right. Well usually it would tell me the names of shit. AC Mountains. Map Mortar. Bell Tower. Burnt Tower. Mr. Park. Ruins of Al. Union Cave. Elix Forest. By the city, Black Moon City. It's probably that. Okay. Off the Black Moon City we go. Now the question is, is how the fuck to get to the Dragon's Den? These are the ice mountains. It's the wrong way. Dragon's Den. What the fuck? I 
I can't move. Not moving. There was nothing there. Again, there was nothing there. Is some glitches. There are some glitches. Made a challenge with the whirlpools. You are the interest you with this dragon Pokemon. I. What? I guess it doesn't count as night. And as morning. Which means you wouldn't be here. I don't have to do that again. What the fuck? Wait, what the fuck? What did I do? What did I do? Okay, there we go. <laughs> I'm breaking the game, bookworm. Are you proud of me breaking the game? Okay, so this is Viridian City. So obviously up it yeah, up is Viridian Forest. We need to go to Viridian Forest. I have a list now. It tells me Yes, though it doesn't seem that I did too. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, now we need to go to Viridian Forest. And there you are. Hi, it's me, Kurt from Zodia Town. Remember me? Me for this has so many bug type Pokemon that can be that can be found in John Town. So I came here came here to study them. What's that? You'd like to have a rematch? Why of course. We can meet at Vermilion City at the fine arena. See you there. Okay, so yeah, it's morning time right now. Oh great. The next guy is the bear Pokemon person. Beams, we gotta go to. Why the fuck are you on top of the Saladon store? I can't remember Celadon's Janto or Kanto. Oh, there they went all around. It's on, oh, it's in Kanto. Up. Okay, up, 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 up. Here somewhere. It's really in Rock Town, Lavender Town, Saffron, Celadon. There we go. I'm not good with directions. <laughs> I 
who the fuck? So we find kind of I'm kind of when you might look at the future. I think that no one else could see it. And it's, I saw it too. I could hear it whisper when I went near it. it gives me chills. Just think about it. Really? Can we get what it said? Something about only being invisible to those who are unkind. What a bunch of nonsense. Just not to think about it too much. Ah, there's the store, I think. No. <laughs> Where the fuck's the store? <laughs> no, it should be the store, I think. Oh. There's this sign out there. I'm a fucking moron. Oh, it is a store. <laughs> it's the department store. The biggest thing in Saturday. Hi oh, there, you are, bitch. Oh, hi, I'm. Thanks for seeing you here. Are you doing some early morning shopping too? Wait, stop. Don't go visiting places as bright. Fuck you. <laughs> We're really high up here. It's the perfect place for my bird, Pokemon. So, to take flight. You know, I just had this strange idea. We should have another battle, you and I, one of these days. What do you think? Awesome. Come see me in the fighting arena in Rillian City. I'll be waiting for you. He just got roared by a bird and flew over in that area. The last one is Crano Island. Are you serious? I'm on <laughs> motherfucker if they were to fly, but I can't. I can't. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh yeah, I need to test something to see if it works. If not, I need to fix it. Alright, let's see. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Nope, it works! Cat Island, Boone Island, Can Island, Back. <laughs> you know, I'm just going to challenge the others. I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> she can sit all alone on that island. I am not lost, bookworm. I know where to go. There we go. <laughs> Look! More gym trainers! No one freaks. Touch be bad again. Shall we begin? You were nearly a million earlier. Shut up! <laughs> a riot shoot in a. What the fuck? Ah, 
Ah, oh, yes, that definitely hurt. Oh, hit. Wait, his is 83? The other two are in their 60s. Holy shit. Yeah, well, at least mine did a one-hit KO and survived. Tyranitar... Uh, a Tyranitar and a Charizard. Okay, maybe not. It's a pony art, not a chaza. Pokemon so far are weak to fucking water. Oh, you bitch. I am going to murder you. Why would you get this sad excuse for a streamer to get mine? You should oh. someone else. Hello, Apollo. Dot, I'm back. Thank you for the subscription. I appreciate it. Ow. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> you hints about the crab hammer. Are you kidding? They have a Richie Gigas combination too? And they fuse it with a car? <laughs> Will never be used to build a lovely dill, Ali. So thank oh you very God. much for that. <laughs> thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Oh my God! What did they do to you? <laughs> Wait, what? Why is Picker out? I mean to choose Pecker. <laughs> I tried to choose Asparagus. This is not looking good. Oh no. Why does this not look good? I've been being with this for a minute. Just keep this in stream. Ah. Time for the triple combo. Back. Back. Yes. <laughs> Super camping motherfucker. I 
Okay, that actually kind of looks cool. Turbo combo. Oh, come on. <laughs> you you went to, to use Skobash, but failed. <laughs> no doubt the power of the Trippy Combo. Oh, come on! Quit waking up, you bitch! And he's dead. Or not? Yeah, Trippy Combo! I swear, if he wakes up again... <laughs> Thank you! Stay asleep, you bitch! God damn it! Combo never fails. And you have no proof of it. <laughs> hmm. I've still a long way to become the best trainer. Bitch. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, they are flying type bookworm. <laughs> That's why it didn't work. <laughs> this bitch. Okay. Is it just me, or do I also... Uh, do I want to see this actually be put in a Pokemon game? Because this actually kind of looks cool. Kind of like a future version of Copper Frigus. You know, like, like the Paradox Pokemon. This is just the future form. Or is it just me? Anyways, I'm gonna burn it alive. <laughs> kind of me too, yeah. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, that works. You bitch. Ow. Why do all the gym leaders have these rich? His combinations. Ashti. Eh. 
Uh oh. Because Richie Gigas is really common, I guess. Oh my god. Richie Gigas crashed the game. Oh, there we go. <laughs> she broke the game, yeah. <laughs> Who will win? Okay, so it's not a Richie Gigas. <laughs> I have some ices. I just cut up this Pokemon and made some ices. Does anyone want some? I got Tiger's Blood. I got Lemon Lab. I got Free Punch. It is shitting on me. It took multiple shits to my Pokemon's face. So the Gengar in Abyss Shack. Alright, big boy Titan, I believe in you. Oh my god. That is horrific, but badass. Broke the game. No. Oh, there it goes. Looks like something you see in Pokemon Insurgents. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I was kind of afraid sending Big Boy Titan out because I thought we'd use fighting type moves, which is Big Boy Titan's weakness. But it, they didn't. And it, a Nankata and a Dust Claps. I think. Yep. <laughs> Wait! Big Boy Titan's weak to bug? <laughs> what? What? It just splits the pads. I expect no less from the league champion. Pig Boy Titan is weak to bug. What the fuck? Now I'm just imagining it done. The big boy thing is done pummeling the person's face in. A ladybug bites it and it just falls to the ground out of sheer agony. <laughs> That's what I'm imagining now. <laughs>
I can never get over how they keep saying we hope to see you again. Like they fucking know we're gonna ruin our Pokemon. They know they're gonna get injured. They know that they always have to take care of them. They always know. They always watch. <laughs> All right. Just give me a moment because. I think I'm gonna collect the rest of the gym leaders off screen for another stream and I'm just gonna pull up another game. So give me quite the moment. And, oh my god, I almost clicked I almost clicked the blue blue twitch room again. Oh no. <laughs> Queen, would you ever be surprised that I accidentally do that at one point? Would you be surprised that I'll... Not at all. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> Oh god, I forgot about this one horror game I have that, uh... I remember that we, we found messed up shit about it. Yeah, let's not play that. Let me just uninstall. <laughs> I forgot I still had it. It's another poor game. That's another bad horror game I should never play again. You know what? Since we're doing po Pokemon games, uh, I mean, well, technically a Pokemon game. Let's let's play a different Pokemon game. Should my Pokemon folder somewhere? And that's porn. <laughs>
Hey, give me, give me a moment. I have to probably find a flash drive. Where the fuck did I put it? Oh god, no. Damn it. You are not hearing any issues going on, Bookworm. None at all. Put it in this folder. Here, it's just, I don't need my need that in. The uh, book where I didn't put it on that scene. At least can do. Nope. Okay, so not that flash drive. Where the fuck is my Pokemon game flash drive? Why do I have more than one flash drive? Anyways, I can re-embarrass you, Bookworm. Let's see. Pokemon Games! Alright. Okay, so let's first do something. me that's the one I was used two minutes ago reject you should have your points back let's see Jesus says now.
This is gonna take a bit of time, but uh, I'm gonna be playing a cool Pokemon game called Pokemon Xenoverse. Yep, I would play Pokemon Insurgents, but I don't feel like I'm too lazy to grind. And it's not in that kind of way, Bookworm. It's for my excuse to not play Insurgents too. <laughs> oh my god. Since it's just me and you, Bookworm, I totally did not, uh, recently commission, uh, a Power World NSFW art. Not at all. So they approve this. I'm gonna copy the message and send it to you. Because I don't think I can talk about it on Twitch. Man, this is taking forever. Anyways, how's your day going, Bookworm?
Okay, hold on. I'm opening chat GPT and having it... Having it say awful dad jokes. You know why, Bookworm. You know why we must have the awful dad jokes spread to us by ChatGPT. You know why. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it is... Oh my gosh. Yes. Sure. Here are a few classic awful dad jokes for you. One. Why couldn't the bicycle stand up by itself? Because it was too tired. Two. Why don't skeletons fight each other? They don't have the guts. Three. What did one hat say to the other hat? You stay here, I'll go on ahead. Four, why did the Scarecrow win an award? Because he was outstanding in his field. Five, did you hear about the kidnapping at the park? They woke up. It's okay, they just took a nap. Six, I told my wife she should embrace her mistakes. She gave me a hug. Seven, how does a penguin build its house? Igloos it together. Eight, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Hope these bring a groan and a chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like them, Bookworm? Did you? Did you enjoy it, Bequim? Bequim? I have killed Bequim. <laughs> the power of dad jokes is too harsh. It killed the Bequim. Jesus, how long is this game going to download for? Okay, Bookworm, if you're still here in chat, 
send a message that is backwards of a backwards message. <laughs> send a regular message. Yes. You know what? Dad jokes were bad. You're right. So here's a short horror story. In the old, abandoned house at the end of the street, there was a legend whispered among the neighborhood kids. They spoke of a ghostly figure that roamed the halls at night, its mournful wails echoing through the empty rooms. One stormy night, a brave group of teenagers decided to investigate the house, armed with flashlights and nerves of steel. As they crept through the creaking corridors, the wind howled outside, adding to the eerie atmosphere. Suddenly, a door slammed shut behind them, trapping them inside. Panicked, they fumbled for the handle, but it wouldn't budge. Then, from the darkness, they heard it. A chilling moan that sent shivers down their spines. Terrified, they huddled together, their flashlights flickering in the gloom. But as their eyes adjusted to the darkness, they saw something move. A shadowy figure gliding towards them, its eyes burning with malevolent intent. With a scream, they turned to flee, but the doors and windows had all mysteriously locked shut. Trapped with nowhere to run, they realized they were at the mercy of the vengeful spirit that haunted the house. And as the ghostly figure drew closer, its chilling whispers filled the air, promising to claim their souls for eternity. Did you like this story, Bookworm? I'm sending it in the prompt. Explain why Bright is stupid to see what would happen. <laughs> I actually have an answer. doesn't pick the AI. The answer isn't genuine. The concept of bright being synonymous with stupidity is often used in jest as a play on words. It's a humorous way of pointing out that someone who is bright, intelligent, or clever might also do something silly or foolish. It's not meant to be taken literally, but rather as a light-hearted jab at the quirks and foibles of human behavior. In reality, intelligence and occasional lapses in judgment are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> maybe if I put my first name as well, it'll maybe get it. It doesn't want to be offensive towards me, so it won't answer. I swear, if it comes with an answer for this... <laughs> <laughs> I asked. Explain why Aaron Braid is horny. This content may violate our terms of use or uses policies.
All right, let's see if the AI can do this. Write a love story about Aaron Bright and Pals from Power World. Totally has nothing to do with what happened earlier. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Who's ready for a furry love story? Bitcoin, <laughs> <laughs> once you're ready to hear it, let me know. Yes, I did. Hi, Garden Gore. Uh, I'm not doing anything weird.
You're doing anything weird. Actually, it's fine if you are. <laughs> That's great, because now I have two PALs and two SCPs created by ChatGPT. Are you guys ready to hear them? Are you ready? I'm really frightened, but I'm here. Species feline. Appearance. Whiskers is a sleek and elegant black cat with bright green eyes that sparkle with mischief. His fur is soft and glossy, and he has a long, graceful tail that swishes back and forth when he's excited. Personality. Whiskers is a playful and curious pal who loves to explore every nook and cranny of pal world. He's always getting into mischief, but his heart is pure, and he would never intentionally cause harm. Whiskers is fiercely loyal to his human companion, and will go to great lengths to protect them from any danger. Abilities Despite his small size, Whiskers is incredibly agile and quick on his feet. He can dart through the densest undergrowth and leap to great heights with ease. Whiskers also has a keen sense of smell and can sniff out hidden treasures and secret passages that others might overlook. Special Traits One of Whiskers' most unique traits is his ability to communicate with other animals in Pal World. Whether it's chatting with a wise old owl or striking up a conversation with a friendly squirrel, Whiskers has a way with words that endears him to creatures big and small. Likes Whiskers enjoys chasing after butterflies, curling up in a sunny spot for a cat nap, and indulging in the occasional fish treat. He also loves cuddling with his human companion and purring contentedly as they stroke his fur. Dislikes. Whiskers dislikes loud noises and crowded places, preferring the peace and quiet of the great outdoors. He also has a distaste for water and will do anything to avoid getting wet, even if it means leaping over puddles or tiptoeing around them. Bonding. To bond with Whiskers, spend quality time playing games with him, grooming his fur, and giving him plenty of affection. He thrives on attention, and will quickly form a strong bond with anyone who treats him with kindness and respect. Joining your team. If you're looking for a loyal companion who will stick by your side through thick and thin, Whiskers is the perfect pal for you. With his quick wit, nimble agility, and unwavering loyalty, Whiskers will make an invaluable addition to your team as you embark on exciting adventures in Pal World. That's the first pal, which is just a fucking cat. <laughs> Here's the second pal. Species. Dragon. Appearance. Blaze is a majestic dragon with shimmering scales that range from fiery red to deep orange. His wings span wide and they glitter in the sunlight with flecks of gold. His eyes shine with intelligence and curiosity, and he has a friendly smile that reveals sharp, gleaming teeth. Personality. Blaze is courageous, noble, and fiercely protective of his friends. Despite his imposing size, he has a gentle heart and a playful spirit. He's always eager to explore new places and embark on thrilling adventures, but he's also a loyal companion who will stand by your side through any challenge. Abilities As a dragon, Blaze possesses incredible strength and agility. He can fly swiftly through the air, soaring over mountains and valleys with ease. He also breathes scorching flames that can melt through even the toughest obstacles, making him a formidable ally in battle. Special Traits Blaze has the ability to control fire, allowing him to manipulate flames to his advantage. Whether it's lighting a campfire with a flick of his tail, or creating a protective barrier of flames to ward off enemies, Blaze's mastery over fire makes him a force to be reckoned with. Likes Blaze enjoys basking.
loves spending time with his friends, whether it's engaging in friendly sparring matches or simply lounging around and sharing stories. Dislikes. Blaze dislikes cold, rainy weather, as it dampens his fiery spirit. He also has a distaste for injustice and will always stand up for the oppressed and downtrodden. Additionally, he's wary of anyone who poses a threat to his friends or the peaceful inhabitants of Palworld. Bonding. To bond with Blaze, show him kindness, respect, and courage. Engage him in exciting adventures, challenge him to friendly competitions, and demonstrate your loyalty by standing up for what's right. As you earn his trust and friendship, Blaze will become a devoted companion who will accompany you on epic quests and stand by your side through thick and thin. Joining your team. If you're seeking a loyal and powerful ally to join you on your journey through Pal World, look no further than Blaze the Dragon. With his fierce determination, fiery spirit, and unwavering loyalty, Blaze will light up your adventures and help you overcome any obstacle that stands in your way. That's the second pals. What do you guys think about the pals? I... Okay, wait a minute. I'm not letting it read the SCPs. Cause it literally just copied some other SCPs and changed some things. Yeah, I don't like that. Alright. Write a story about SCP uh, SCP 6969 69 is a sex ring. <laughs> Why the fuck? <laughs> I told it to write a weird Pokemon story about Aaron Bright. And it spent the most time writing a story about that than anything else. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to let it play. Pokemon were a mishmash of different species. 
their appearances distorted and twisted in bizarre ways. There was a Bulbasaur with wings, a Pikachu with tentacles, and even a Charmander with scales like a fish. Curious but cautious, Aaron cautiously approached the peculiar Pokemon, her heart pounding with excitement. To her surprise, they greeted her with smiles and friendly gestures, their eyes twinkling with mischief and curiosity. Realizing that these Pokemon were unlike any she had encountered before, Aaron decided to nickname them the Oddities. Despite their unconventional appearances, the Oddities possessed a unique charm and personality that endeared them to Aaron instantly. Eager to learn more about her new friends, Aaron embarked on a series of adventures with the Oddities, exploring the far reaches of the Pokemon world and encountering all manner of strange and wondrous creatures along the way. Together, they faced off against powerful trainers, thwarted the plans of nefarious villains, and delved into ancient ruins shrouded in mystery. But as their journey progressed, Aaron began to sense a dark presence lurking in the shadows, watching their every move with malevolent intent. Unbeknownst to her, a sinister organization known as Team Shadow was plotting to harness the power of the oddities for their own nefarious purposes. Determined to protect her friends and thwart Team Shadow's evil plans, Aaron embarked on a daring mission to uncover the truth behind the oddities, origins, and unlock their hidden potential. With the help of her loyal Pokemon companions and her unwavering courage, Aaron faced off against Team Shadow in a climactic showdown that would determine the fate of the Pokemon world. In the end, Aaron emerged victorious, defeating Team Shadow and freeing the oddities from their clutches. With peace restored to the Pokemon world, Aaron bid f In the vibrant world of Pokemon, there lived a young trainer named Aaron Bright. Wait. Unlike other trainers... <laughs> it started reading it all over again. <laughs> Aaron bid farewell to her extraordinary friends, knowing that their bond would endure across time and space, a testament to the power of friendship and the indomitable spirit of adventure. That's how it ended. But can I be alone with the Pikachu of Tentacles? No reason at all.
Thank you, ChatGPT. It finally gave me an answer. I asked it. All right. How tall am I? It said four foot foot five. Even they know it's a tiny devil. <sighs> Alright, I'm done messing with Jet GBT. I'm totally not messing with another AI. Not in the slightest. You know what? That's actually not that bad. Not at all. It's, it's what I, I thought it would turn out to be. Oh god! Fuck! No! <laughs> you heard nothing. Ah, yes, I hate having to watch ads just to use an AI. I also hate having to I wait so freaking long. Streaming. Oh, my. You should give it to someone else. Dot, I swear it's been longer, but he. Hi, Elithics. How are you? I'm just waiting for a game to finish downloading. How are you? Yeah, it's been so long. Yeah, just let me know if you want to clap anytime soon. Yeah, April 12th is my birthday, so yeah. I can also uh, do an earlier collab tomorrow if you if you like.
Hey, I'm down tomorrow too. Did you get content warning by any chance? I have not yet. But I, I may be able to get it. I'll have to look at it. To see how much it is. But... And I'm playing a protective day. It's seven ninety nine plus tax. I, I, I may be able to get it. I, I'll check after stream. Oh my god! Well, can this game finish installing? Please. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just wondering, what time will you be available tomorrow? I'm, if I'm working or not. So it just depends on that. I have used the rest of it. I have been working for two now. Oh. oh. That sucks. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, it's annoying, a little stressful, but not gonna lie, time off has been nice. Yeah, that's, that's fair. You know what? Well, it's doing this. While it's doing this. Ah, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, do, 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 do. Ah, shit. Because I think it's going to take all night for this download, sadly. So...
Ah, uh, yeah, now I just realized this is probably the first time you might have heard my new voice. Also, thank you for the lurk. Lurk for a bit, about to play some games as well. <laughs> Hope you have an amazing rest of your stream, and hopefully, the game finishes soon. Thanks, other fix. Yes, alright. See if I actually played this. Cause I'm not sure if I did or not. And keep forgetting to put it back in the other folder. What? I don't believe I played this before. Okay. <laughs> I must book our members. Hold on, let me see. Why the fuck is this so huge? Do not take that out of context. <laughs> Does this seem familiar, Bookworm? It says... It stays huge for more than four hours. God damn it. <laughs> it's, it's called a home invasion. I can't remember if I played this or not. I know, since we forgot, we're gonna play it anyways. <laughs> so let me go back in here, go here, go here, go here. Open Twitch chat on my phone so I can see you guys speak. Make sure my volume's down so I don't hear my own voice. And hate hearing the sound of it. Even though I like my voice, I also hate it at the same time. I don't know. I'm confusing myself. Anyways. <laughs> Hello? Why does this feel familiar? Hello? Nothing's happening. What did it do? Also, is the game too loud? Many people keep their gun at home for self-defense. I use it to shoot people. <laughs> Does that count as self-defense? Six and ten people has gun ownership in Winchester. If you decide to keep a gun at home, be sure that the gun is stored safely and, and that all family members know the rules about handling guns. But first, let's test your shooting ability. Right. 
Yay, I love shooting things. Congratulations, you did it. You're very good at this. Now here's your prize. It's a corpse. No, it's not. But, um... <laughs> Gladly! Where is she? You can't save her. You killed her. T-shirt and red pants. She has blonde hair and brown eyes. She is two feet zero inches and weighs twenty pounds. But come I think I actually did play this. <laughs> the suspect was driving a gray car. <laughs> but oh well. Please call the police immediately. For your safety, please follow these instructions. No. Stay home at all costs. Lock all doors and windows. I'm clicking on the door. She's here. I'm scared. I'm not. Why are you hiding under your blanket? I'm scared of you, Daddy. I'm a woman. <laughs> I mean, I may have still have a penis still, but I mean, I may still have a penis, but I'm still a woman. <laughs> Hi! Creepy ass motherfucker. So peaceful. There's nothing wrong, right, Bookworm? Oh, hello. What the fact? Why is it so fucking quiet? Take your time and answer truthfully for the most accurate result. Do you frequently have difficulty making decisions? No, I like murdering people, so no. 
do you frequently avoid people who, whose ideas are different from your own? No, because I, I shoot them. Anyways. <laughs> do you frequently act rude? No, Bookworm, I... You answer this question. Do I ever act rude in any given way? You obviously would say no, right? I never would act rude. Not at all. I mean, she says, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Do you complain to yourself? Well, rude in the horny way. <laughs> you have to from yourself. Oh yes, all the time, right in front of the mirror. I do it every morning. It gets it it wakes you right up. <laughs> Do you keep every frequently everything aside? Yeah, I never share it. I'd rather be depressed. I'm sorry. <laughs> Do you ever lie to lie anyone? I think... I think everyone lies to people sometimes, so... Yes? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Fuck yeah! I hide multiple bodies. I know, I buried her. I think it's the key word, bright. <laughs> oh, hi. Are you good? Okay, you're Steve talking. <laughs> he did a whimper cry and I thought he hurt himself. I was getting worried. Yeah, I 100% play this. Oh, God, I forgot how the controls were. Corn, where did you hide the dead body? You have to tell me, you know. I don't know what you're talking about, Bright. Uh-huh. Sure.
Can't go that way. Right up. Oh, there we go. Bookworm, you're so sloppy. You left blood everywhere. Nine on one, what's your emergency? My granddaughter has gone missing. The address is redacted. Where did you last see her? Last time she was lying down on her bed. Okay, I just need you to stay put. Help is on the way. Can I have your name? Amanda Green. Please hurry. Help is on the way, ma'am. Wait, I think my back door is opened. What do you mean the back door is opened? Is there someone with you? My son is not home yet. Is there someone in your backyard? I think someone's watching. Hello? 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 Mom? The remaining footage is corrupted. She means her at Bookworm! <laughs> But Elithix, I'm not sure if you're still listening right now. Uh, but I just got content warning. But yes. Anyways, blue screen. Why did it sound like it says blue scream? It says blue screen. The blue is screaming and at us, bookworm. It's screaming. <laughs> oh. Sorry, John. I mean, to listen to this house redacted. Let me do the Green's family child deduction. There's a single car in the front yard. There's no response inside the house. Hmm. The victim was last seen in the basement. There's something in the basement. Spam click! Spam click! Spam click! Hey! Are you my new daddy? <laughs> Sorry! Daddy? Flashing. John Remington is dead. Okay, so yeah, I definitely played that game before. <laughs> I started remembering it. 
why the fuck is it still in the in the new and unfinished Got a fuck in there. Alright, let's see if this has a Twitch category. It does! I don't know how to say this. Hopefully it'll flash on screen and someone else can tell me how to say it. I can already hear it. Yeah, I don't know how to say this. Honestly, even though I want to stream way longer, because I really didn't do much today, from the previous two days of being overworked at my job, uh, I think I pulled a muscle on my right shoulder. Or left shoulder, not right. Yeah, so I'd rather not push myself. So, just one more game, and then the end stream. Sadly, I wish I could continue. I still don't know how to say that. Now, this one for sure I know I haven't played. I was hoping to make wool dildos, but I guess I won't. Okay. Why am I being bonked? It'll be a good business. Oh, the B and B host must be a shepherd. A lot of cool sheep here. This is just a small storage house. Where the, the, the walls morph and change. Hello? be the researcher coming to see if that build site is free from any archaeological artifacts. Yep, that's me. The plane ride was long. I'm ready to rest up before I get to work. It's nice to meet you. 
Welcome to my bed and breakfast. Hey, come on. Think in. about that for a second. Your room is right up the stairs. Us and that will cover dildos. But dildos made of wool. Hey, think about that for a second. Yes, they, they would suck in the moisture and grow, making it even. It strengthening the pussy, making it even more better. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm confusing myself. Here we go. I guess I don't go to bed? Okay. Maybe I now take a giant piss? No? I wanted to ask you if you know anything about the Hulda folk. Hulda folk? <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> okay, Main so that's creatures how you say it. that roam certain spots of this island. They are very territorial and will do anything to keep people away from their land. Didn't the builders that hired you tell you of these creatures? No, they didn't. But this is a joke, right? Oh no, no joke at all. It is well known to the Faroese people that these creatures exist. But these builders that hired you, they don't seem to be aware of the Hulda folk. They must be foreigners. Well, you're right on that. The builders are from the US. They want to build a hotel here. But let's say these Hulda folk are real. How would you get rid of them? You can't. If you find out the build site is filled with Hulda folk, you must stop the build project, and you must stay away from the site. The creatures are invisible, and they can reveal themselves at will. Sometimes you can capture them on film, too. How can I tell if Hulda folk live there? Keep a lookout for holes and mounds where they live in. Dirt circles on the ground indicate a Hulda folk was there digging for worms. And if there is a machine on site that is damaged, there could have been hold the folk activity. Okay, sure. I will take your advice then. I'm only warning you. There's a common misconception about hold the folk. Most people think they are not dangerous, but that isn't the case. I've had my encounters with the creatures before, and they don't like to be bothered. They have also taken some of my sheep. I appreciate your warning and your hospitality. Now, I must go lay down a bit. I'm tired. Okay, so the game is called Hold the Fuck. It's about time I take a drive in the build site so I can survey it. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Hold the fuck. So basically, how I would normally have said it was the correct pronunciation. <laughs> oh, I already don't like this. <gasps> Do I get to drive? Aww. Hey, Bookworm, I'm a good driver, right? Okay, it's time to start taking some photos and notes. What the fuck? This looks like it was built a long, long time ago. There's also a weird artifact on the image. Maybe the camera is dirty. You're an idiot. Hmm. 
Hmm. There's nobody here. Can I go inside? No. What the fuck? I forgot how to take the camera out. Oh, I just gotta get near some things. A damaged radiator. This needs some repairing. There's also another artifact on my photo. Damn camera. could be the doing of people from hundreds of years ago. But more than likely, it's just been currently placed here by travelers or workers. But Kermit, I need to make question about whether or not I'm a good driver. I like an answer. <laughs> okay. This could be Huldefolk. Or I'm being pranked. Oh, what the fuck? Well, bookworm, I'm about to be impregnated. Archaeologist is never seen again. The man was searched, but it was found empty. He has remained missing ever since. <laughs> yeah, I know why I went missing, because I got... I know I wasn't paying attention to watching the game, but what the fuck just happened? <laughs> I got captured by the hold the fuck in and will now be uh their breeding partner. What do you mean repeat me? How do you know I'm not into that bookworm? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see if there's someone else to raid. Because my left shoulder is starting to ache. And I should probably rest it. All right, let's see if there's someone else. Wait. I thought Lithix raided me earlier. <laughs> Definitely not watching both of them right now. Really? Why is it's not showing choose online for me? Oh wait, now I see him. 
back. Bookworm, I'm torn. I got... Uh... Alithix. Chew. And the per person I'm in the VTuber group with. I am torn between three people. But honestly, I th we've raided both Chu and Olympics before. So, do you think we should go with the VTuber group person book? Yeah, okay. Bookworm, what type of message shall we use? I believe in the power of Bookworm. Now I something for Mr. since this will be the first time you rated them. No, it will be the second. The second time. And there you go. Anyways, what shall we say? I believe in you. And don't worry, I'll be doing a much longer stream tomorrow. Because I believe my arm will not be hurt is at all tomorrow. I think just saying like bright red again. Okay. That works with me.
Alright, let me know when you are all are ready. Alright, in three, two, one. 